I'm Joe James. In this video I'm going to give you a short introduction to Automated License Plate Recognition or ALPR. Now you may not realize it but there are cameras all over the place that are capturing your car's image and putting your license plate number along with a time, date, and location stamp into a computer database. These may be located over freeways, over busy intersections, or on top of cop cars or private vehicles. So some of the applications for ALPR include secure parking, car repossession, automated toll collection, border control, drug enforcement, detecting cars that have outstanding warrants, finding stolen cars, tracking terrorist suspects, and simply red light ticketing, which we all hate. And there may be more applications for ALPR technology as time goes forward. Now the first step in the license plate recognition process is photographing the car. Next step is to isolate the plate. This is normally done using an edge detection algorithm on the image. So when you can isolate the license plate, that's the only thing you're interested in the image. So next you will adjust the rotation and the skew of the image so that you get a square head-on image from a picture that was probably taken at an angle. Then you adjust the brightness and contrast so you get a high contrast, easy to read image of the digits on the license plate. Next we're going to segment the characters. We section off each character so that we can feed one character at a time into the optical character recognition software. Now character recognition is done one letter at a time and outputs a string of the entire license plate. And lastly the data is transmitted and stored in a centralized server. So together with the license plate, a date and time stamp along with the location and direction are typically placed with it. Now there may be millions or even billions of records in a single database. Now there are a lot of technical challenges in automated license plate recognition. First, either the camera or the car or both may be in motion. So there could be motion blur, which is usually countered by using very high shutter speeds on the camera. The camera distance from a car may be a problem. Low image resolution can be a problem. Low lighting is often a problem, especially when shooting pictures at night of cars. And this is usually countered by using infrared technology. Rain, snow, or fog may cause a decreased image resolution. A trailer hitch, bike rack, or dirt, or other things may block the view of the license plate. And there are a variety of license plate sizes, colors, background art, fonts. There are international license plates motorcycle license plates, government license plates, personalized license plates. Uh, there are a lot of different images on a license plate and these things all present a problem for recognition. The processing speed for each license plate is always a challenge because you only have a fraction of a second to process each car's license plate. So as the software gets more sophisticated it typically takes longer to run but it has to run faster. And then data transmission problems, depending on where you're doing the detection, you may have a hard time transmitting data to a central server. I hope this short introduction to automated license plate recognition was helpful for you. If you like this video, make sure you click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.